Yeah, Paul, take a look. This is the source of all of that copper. You can see there are six tornado sirens that are just lined up right behind Town Hall. And if you look very closely down here at the ground, you can see there are cut wires on several of these. Now, the Oklahoma County Sheriff tells us that the councilman only made about $40 off of this dirty deal. We wanted to know how Richard Smith got in touch with those inmates. So we went to Luther's mayor, Berlene Langley, and city attorney, Jimmy Briscoe. They tell us Smith was a liaison for inmates working on the town's maintenance projects. It's not a common practice for them to go out and visit with the inmates, but they, they are able to do that. We had a cleanup day on a weekend in October, and I found out just the next week. This was Richard Smith's last meeting as a Luther City Council member. KOCO 5 was there when his term ran out in April. He served 12 years and even stepped in as the interim mayor from time to time. We went to his house to get his side, but no one would come to the door. Mayor Langley tells us she's still shocked at the accusations. Well, I've been friends with Mr. Smith for 30 years, very close friends. Now, even though these sirens out here do belong to Oklahoma County, we're told that they were supposed to be installed around the Luther area, but about $30,000 in damage was done. Reporting live in Luther, Ariana Garza, KOCO 5 News. Ari